In this tutorial, I want to highlight some of the great features you will see with the new Mosaic, Mosaic XL, and with Lyric 8.7. Now, I touched on this new feature in previous tutorials, but if you have the selection guides turned on and you're trying to get a precise position for the graphic, the new selection guide toolbar button is fast and easy to turn on or off. Now I also recorded this scene to message number zero. Now click on view macros to open up the macro window. This simple macro just reads message zero. Now I can right click on the macro and select save macro and then navigate to the same folder that Lyric was installed in. So simply name the macro Lyric.LYR and click save. Now let's close Lyric and then relaunch it. When Lyric launches, it will automatically execute the macro, so any macro that you want launched at startup will work. Now I recall the scene that was previously used in the tutorials. This scene has many layers and you have to scroll through them to see them all. So let's make this a little easier for you. Click Config Preferences and click on the Windows tab and uncheck the anchor scene windows. The scene tree, scene graph, and timeline are now all individual so you can move them around anywhere on the screen. You'll make the scene graph bigger and make the timeline wider and push the canvas over a little bit and maybe make the properties window a little bit smaller. So this user interface could be one that you use to create with. And so save this as a creation screen user profile. Then recall a different one for playback. The next feature is the new optional 3D DVE. Select the video object from the toolbar and in the surface properties select plugin as the source then assign video 1 as the source. Now you can resize this object just like you would adjust any other object on the, on the screen. Now click on Tools and select Matrox Panel. Using the pull down select Video Mix and click Add to transition. The Video Mix window opens up and you only have to route the 3D DVE to SDI Input 1 and click Apply and Close. Now I've used the video proxy window throughout these tutorials, but this is a feature that is only available with the Mosaic and Mosaic XL systems. We also have to add an object that keeps the, the scene animating, and this can be as simple as adding a 2D text box and clicking continuous update. Record the scene and play it to air and you will see how it looks. Okay, let's bring it back and add some more animation to it. Like I said, this object is like any other object that can be animated in 3D space. We could add graphics like frames or other objects and have them all animate together. Let's make a simple rotation move on this object and then play it to air to see the move. There's also two 2D DVEs that we can adjust in the scene. Using the Matrox tools again, select 2D DVE from the drop-down. Using this menu, you can adjust the position, size, and crop, and this object can also be moved around the screen using 2D moves. So here's a simple animation across the screen. And to show how other objects will track this perfectly, I'm adding this red bar and making a three-second move to follow the DVE. Now I want to make sure that it's centered under the DVE and now go back and make and adjust the beginning keyframe as well so it's exactly centered. 
and now play this to error and the red bar moves exactly with the two, with the 2D DVE. Okay, let's turn the video proxy window on again in the hardware settings. Another new mosaic feature is the ability to record itself. So select video capture and give the file a name. You will see the choices from the encoder pull down. One of the settings is Apple ProRes. Select Compositor as the source, click Apply, and then the Record button. Now let's recall a scene and play it to the output. And while it is recording, I can recall another scene and play it as an update to the scene already on the output. And finally perform the effect out. Now stop the recording and let's navigate to the file and see what it looks like. Now there's a little bit of black at the beginning but scrub down and press play and we now have a ProRes file of the two scenes we just played to Lyric's output. Now let's go back into the same menu again and this time select the Matrox MPEG-2 iframe as the encoder. When using this format you can also select Enable Key, which will record a video and key AVI file together. So this this AVI file will actually be keyable. So there are some great new features with the new Mosaic and Mosaic XL hardware systems along with Lyric 8.7 software.